Awesome. So, Reese, congratulations. You're the OLSC's uh, 23rd Legend player. Um, and we're really, really happy that you've accepted. Um, so, you've played over 200 caps for, for Leinster. Can you tell us if any any games stand out, any of your fondest memories playing for, for the club? Yeah, uh, firstly, thanks very much to the OLSC for uh, selecting me and uh, making the t-shirt. I'm actually absolutely delighted to have the honour and uh, love, love the t-shirt as well. <laughs> um, yeah, there's been plenty of memories and uh, I think, as everyone says, the first cap probably uh, stands out in the mind as a pretty special week. Um, mine was away to the Dragons. Um, which is near where my dad's from, so um, to have to play against them and have all his family there and um, support him, even though they're probably Dragons fans, <laughs> was uh, a special one. But unfortunately, we lost that one. But um, it was just great to get my first cap and um, sort of start the journey with Leicester, so that was amazing. Um, but then there's some huge memories as well, um, playing in some finals. My first final was the Probably up there on the wall, the Amman Challenge Cup final um, in the ODS and playing in front of uh, the Leicester fans in, in a home final was a pretty special um, occasion and one that I'll always remember and also it's probably sort of driven the, the motivation for me to want to uh, get back and play finals with this team but also play finals at home which is um, really, really special. I mean, one coming up next year, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, be able to be playing in the Aviva. Yeah. Um. Just on that, I mean, early on you you might have had a choice to kind of play a bit more in Wales or or, or play for Leinster. Was that a, was that an always an easy, easy choice to, to come over here or or? No, to be honest, it was a difficult decision because um, like I was born here. Mum's from Dublin. Um, dad's from Wales, but um, we kind of were moving back and forth with my dad's uh, career as a coach. But obviously, there was a time when he was Leinster coach, and I remember going to all the games in Donnybrook and being uh, the biggest fan of Leinster and um, having, I suppose, been lucky that I was so close to the team, getting to watch them train and play in the games every week. And I suppose that's where the um, sort of the passion to want to play for Leinster began but then I was back in Wales and playing with the Ospreys um, underage as well so I was probably a little bit confused and a little bit torn but my mum always says uh, the reason that I'm here and uh, chose to play with Leinster and Ireland is because she, she used to wear put the green socks on me <laughs> no matter what team I was playing for even if they were underneath uh, whatever team's colour and socks they were so um, no, look, it was obviously at different stages in my childhood. I was probably a little bit torn because of where I was living and where my, who my friends were and all this stuff. But um, the the decision kind of became easy when I played Irish under twenties and kind of got that connection back with uh, Ireland and Leinster as well. And from that point on, I uh, knew exactly where I wanted to be and obviously delighted with the decision. Well, we're thrilled that you uh, that, and that's some journey that from. A fan in Danny Brook too, an OLFC legend. That's 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 a pretty unique journey. Yeah. Um, I, I read that you when you first captain Leinster, you were one of the first uh, or one of the youngest captains. Um, I don't know if that that still applies. And you've gone on to captain Ireland and um and Leinster many times. But I was intrigued about um maybe the more recent uh, captaining the tour to South Africa with a lot of the younger players um, going over for the first time. How did you find? Um, captaining that tour and um, you know uh, um, bringing over that young squad that that was genuinely one of like the most enjoyable uh, experiences uh, to look back on and at the time just such an enjoyable part of my career and I think to play with so many young players getting their first cap in, in or one of their first caps as well uh, a massive sort of stage uh, stage in their career is like really really special and to be the captain or one of the senior players on in that group you feel a lot of responsibility in terms of um, helping them make sure that they can put their best foot forward and then also you know we we had such a young group um, maybe an experienced group and we were playing against really experienced uh, teams with full of international South African internationals so it was kind of we were up against it uh, over in South Africa such a hard place to play and just so proud of uh, the group and although we couldn't quite get the win in either of the games but we really were uh, in with a chance in both games till the end so just so proud of the efforts of the younger lads especially and 
uh, all the work that went in and absolutely loved it and it's not uh, it's not hard to enjoy as well when you're over in South Africa and experiencing all these new things and the, the, well, the stadiums and everything like that was fantastic. So I'm sure they, the, the younger players were very grateful to have you leading, leading the charge. Um, uh, you're often asked to play, or, you know, six or eight or, or, or um, a variety. I was looking back, you played a couple, couple of games at seven. If Leo walked in here now and said you can only play one more posi one position for the rest of your career, would you would you have a preference for for one or the other? Um, I might say second row because I'm much slow down a bit. <laughs> um, I probably won't grow it anymore uh, in the next few years, but I might slow down a bit and give me a few extra years. But no, I'd probably say uh, I'd probably say number eight to be honest is my favourite position. But obviously, I've had the most exposure at six uh, since being here, so. Uh, I'm happy to play wherever. Yeah. But number eight is probably my favourite. I, I was gonna, I was gonna say as well. Is there uh, like I think sometimes the Irish or Leinster systems mean, um, you end up on the wing a couple of times. Or would you ever fancy a transition into the backs or into? Oh, uh, I'd love it. But <laughs> I'm not the one that they go uh, asking to go on the wing. I mean, they go through at least five or six in the back right. before they choose. <laughs> um. Uh. The, uh it's a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of, there's been 22 other OLFC legends before you and um, you must have played with some uh, fantastic players in the in the years um, at, uh, at Leinster. Is there been a favourite player that you um, you played with or uh, a favourite opponent that you, you lined up against? Someone that you, there's, yeah, there's been a lot like of sort of teammates and people that have like massively inspired me and um, just been such special people to play alongside and be in the dressing room side, but um, it's kind of hard to pick one. But some some of the ones that kind of stand out is obviously like Isa and the influence he had on everyone in the group. But also one of the past legends, um, Fergus McFadden, um, just such a quality player and such a great guy to have on your team. Um, and for me personally, he was a big influence in terms of um, I think. He knew how much I respected him and the way he played the game, and he would always be there to sort of give me encouragement and um, I suppose motivate me even pre-game and things like that. So uh, Fred would be right up there as well. Brilliant. Uh, well, we're we're thrilled that you're um, that you've agreed to be this year's uh, All Sea Legend, and the T-shirts will be on sale. And, and it's very special that they're for charity this year. They're they're them for the Irish Cancer Society. So we really appreciate your support uh, for. And the OSE and for the Irish Cancer Society this year. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks.